Good afternoon, Aaron. If you were with us this morning, you saw the line stretched out the door. Now it's a different situation. No waiting at all. But the moderator says things have been busy this morning. About half of the registered voters have cast their ballots so far. Although it wasn't without problems, like another ward in Manchester, they did have problems with their voting machine. We're not an early voting state. However, across New Hampshire, voters were up early. Moderators reporting long lines and in some cases, problems. At Ward 2 in Manchester, the ballot machine stopped working, forcing ballots to be placed in a cardboard box and voters questioning the procedure. And we have to trust that you are gonna put them in later and our vote will come. By nine o'clock in the morning, the machine was working and poll workers were feeding the ballots into it, eventually catching up. In Nashua, polls were also packed, which was great for Jamie Teague and her bake sale. I got here at 545 to set up, and it was all the way out to the street. This is the shortest it's been today. There were two issues on Eric Frederick's mind as he voted. Immigration, taxation. The economy and the direction of the country were issues important to George Brzezicki, but it wasn't just about the national races. The local elections especially, you know, where we're... Where, uh, where we're at with our state reps and our uh, Senate rep. And then there is civic duty. It's such a privilege to be able to vote. You know, if, even if you don't like the, the candidates running, it's important to pick one at least and, and to cast a vote, because if you weren't able to do it, that'd be, be terrible. Turnout could set a record today. The Secretary of State believes there are a number of factors driving that. The role that we play at the beginning of the process and we seem to always in the end potentially can be the decider. As you take a live look at the polls once again here at Ward 1 in Manchester, make sure that when you do come out to vote you have a photo ID with you and you might want to allow for a little extra time as well. Although as you can see, if you're voting in Ward 2 in Manchester, come on down, no waiting. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.